It's a digital humidity temperature sensor. It's reading 20 something degrees on a microbit. This isn't going to take very long because there's already a module for this. You just go into new project DH whatever and uh, you scroll down to where it says extensions. You type the name of the sensor DHT11 and um, click on the extension that will install. Once it, this orange thing appears here for, for this, you pop that into forever. Um, and I need to show a number. And the number I'm going to show is uh, this one here, read humidity. I suppose you could do that one. I'm going to change it to temperature. I also like to change the pin to pin one. I don't know, sometimes I use pin zero for other things. So I'm going to use pin one. Grant, and that's it. You press download and there it is. Flashy, 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 working away. And when it's all done, it should come out. There you go, 20 some, 22 degrees right now. So grand, I'll just, that's it. That's everything you need to know. I'm going to just show you a, a quick run through of exactly how I do the pin because sometimes that's the, the wrong thing. If you get minus 99 on it, you've probably selected the wrong pin, you know, or it's loose. Uh, cool, so let's have a very quick look at the pins. So we can just use old school like crocodile clips. I wouldn't recommend it. They're kind of janky. Um, now, just look for the S that's a signal on your sensor. That's pin one. The others are plus and minus. I don't know, it depends how you, your, every sensor is kind of different. Try it. Worst, you'll blow it up. Probably not. Um, I'm using this uh, breakout board because it's just way better. And I can use nice little colored wires like that. I did that just for you in this video. I definitely had the wrong color. It's what I did this yesterday. Um, so that's it. Hook it up, plug it in, and uh, you're away.